Hi, I'm Ross Barry for Coast Community News. You're watching our first edition of Around the Grounds, a wrap on the weekend's major sporting results. On Saturday, the Mariners' finals prospects were dealt a blow when they were defeated 2-0 by the Brisbane Roar, with second-half goals to Roy O'Donovan and Scott Neville. Yusun Kim and Matt Simon created several chances up front for the Central Coast, only to be denied by the woodwork and the Brisbane keeper Jamie Young. Now Kim Sun is onside here. And Brisbane Court Square, it's Kim on Son, it comes back off the crossbar. Really good challenge. And R Raw could be away here, it's Roy O'Donovan, it's a great save by Birigetti. Taking it off the head of Clisby, he's been their brightest spark, can he finish here? Great save again, Birigetti. Rolls across to provide cover, Clisby out of position. Wenzel Hall's near post, O'Donovan! The breakthrough arrives! Really buzzing around that Mariners penalty area. Here's the corner, and Scott Neville, 2-0. Thank you very much, that might be enough for Brisbane. And that loss sees the Mariners back in 10th position on the ladder, with a bye next week and then an away match against Sydney FC. The Champagne Corks were popping in Lizarro Arimba on Sunday night, after the Magpies took out the first piece of silverware of the 1920 season, with a five-wicket win over Warner Vale in the one-day final at Erina Oval. Warnervale won the toss and batted first, posting 167 runs, following a 74-run opening stand by Simon Keane and Tony Cornwell. Keane's 52 came off just 29 balls. Bowler Matt Jones kept Warnervale at bay, taking four wickets for just 16 off 7.3 overs. Lizaro Rimbo then got off to a shaky start and at one point were four for 75, before Magpies captain and Greg Smith medalist Blair Lindsay steadied the ship. Lindsay combined with all-rounder Matt Sunshine for a 95-run partnership to win the match with five overs to spare. In addition to some of the action, we also caught some never-before-seen footage of the Magpies performing their Swoop Down team song. Yeah, it was, it was really good. It was, it was special. Um, you know, they're moments that you think of and you think back on and, and think that was you know, a special partnership because, you know, lose a wicket, um, either of us early in that partnership, then, you know, it's, it's a different game, completely different game. So it's nice to sort of... Um, you know, be under the pump, get on, get back on top, and then um, you know, just just continue that to to, to get the runs. So. Across at Adcock Park earlier on Sunday, the Central Coast under-12s had an emphatic win over Hunter Valley in the inaugural 2019-20 Greater Hunter Representative Competition. After losing their last encounter against Hunter Valley, the Central Coast chased down a modest total of 56, with rising stars Kobe Smith and Raj Sharma putting on an unbeaten 60-run partnership to take out the shield. Player of the series, Kobe Smith. <laughs> Kobe, if I can ask you first, you put on 31 today. How did that feel? It felt good to get some runs compared to last week. I only got out for nine. Caught behind, so it felt good, yeah. We noticed uh, this is uh, one of the early games you guys have played on a turf wicket. We noticed the run rate slowed down when the spinners came on. Was that challenging? Yeah, because you didn't know when some were going to spin and when some weren't. So, yeah, just had to get behind and see what happens. Raj, you put on 21 today. How did it feel to hit a six to win the match? Look, it felt pretty good because I haven't hit a six for a while. Um, yeah, that's really it. And what are you guys uh, looking forward to next year? What's uh, what's in store? Uh, just batting and keeping and just trying to do my best at all times, yeah. The, uh, you lost the first wicket in the first over. Were there a few jitters when you first went out? Yeah, I was a bit nervous. Just had to watch the ball and get on with it. Now you guys have both put on a lot of runs during the year. How do you enjoy batting with each other? Well, we've batted with each other for rep for quite a while. We've been in the same rep team last year. Yeah, um, I've only played three matches because I went away to a huge carnival, so it felt good to come back to rep, come back to rep representative cricket and score runs. 
In tennis, the Gosford District Tennis Club Championships began this weekend. Several of the coast's talented young players were on display on Saturday, including rising star Shannon Spencer, who clinched the Open Ladies Championship from rival Eliza Zirianova in straight sets 6-2, 6-2. We managed to catch a little bit of footage from, from the earlier pool match between Shannon and Eliza. And finally to baseball, and the Central Coast Marlins were comfortably defeated by the Manly Eagles in the first grade baseball competition on Sunday. The Eagles won 12 to 6 at the bottom of the ninth. At one stage, however, the Eagles led 12 to 1, but a stand-up triple to Jackson Smith put the locals back in the game at the top of the sixth. Big rip in the right field. It's going to get over the head of Luke Brown and down to the fence. Brown is hustling down after it. Watts is hustling around second. He's going to get into third. He's going to knock in two runs for the Marlins. That's all for today. For more sports news, check out the Coast Community News website. And we'll see you next Monday.